class today, ladies, on this Thursday the 26th. Welcome to class today. Let's jump right into today's announcements. First of all, incomplete. I don't think there are any. Uh, no, uh, no, there are no incompletes. Uh, let's see. Now, today, ladies, we're going to take notes. And we're going to work on homework, okay? Now, please listen carefully. We are starting Chapter 5 today. Chapter 5 is all about congruent triangles and special segments in a triangle. We're going to learn many ways to prove that triangles are congruent. We will also be learning what congruent triangles are and how to understand which parts of these triangles are congruent to each other. We will also learn how to use congruent triangles to solve problems. All right. Now the video today is about congruent triangles. Okay. We're covering the first lesson in chapter five. We are going to learn a definition of congruent triangles. We're going to learn how to write a congruent statement and how to take a congruent statement and match up corresponding angles and corresponding sides. So that's what we're going to do today in this video here. So here's your teaching video. When you're done with that, please work on your homework. Here's your homework assignment right here. All right. If you need any help, there's the help video right there. Okay. Now, Hannah, please listen carefully. I need two things from you in order for you to get credit for the test you took yesterday, okay? Let me quickly grab my lesson plans here and see if I can find these assignments. Okay, um, Haley, or excuse me, Hannah, if you will please uh, make note of this. This was the review she given to you last Friday. You did not have to finish it. However, um, you had to turn in what you got done. Um, so Hannah, anyways, I had to pause the video there. I'm not sure when I um, sent it you last, but this is the assignment here given to you on Friday for five bonus points. Now, it's too late to get the five bonus points. You had to turn this in the day of the test to get the bonus points. However, you still have to turn in what you did in class, okay? Now, um, later on, on Monday, um, I gave you this assignment here. Again, you do not have to finish it, okay? But you have to turn in what you got done in class on Monday. I'm doing this to you and to Sealy to make sure you guys are working in class, okay? So you must turn in both of those assignments um, before I give you credit for your test. So please take care of that, okay? Now, Sealy, your test was not in the folder. Please email me and let me know what is going on there, okay? Thank you. Now at this time, let's go over courses 12 and 13. I gave those to you yesterday, um, and I asked you not to lose those. So please pause the video, pull out quiz number 12, and let's go over this together, okay? Here we go. All right, first of all, any time you have medians that are drawn, like this line here, the longer line here, will always be twice as big as this line here. Same thing here. This longer line here will be twice as long as this line here. Same thing here. This longer line here will be twice as long as this one here. Okay? So, with that in mind, JK is 4. Now, that's the shorter line. So, if JK is 4, then K G from here to here has to be 8. So find JG and find KG. Alright, well, 
J G is the entire line from J to G, and obviously that would be 12, 4 plus 8. Now K G from K to G is 8, so that length would be 8. All right. Once then again, if you need to, make sure that makes sense. Okay. Now number six. If I give you the three sides of a triangle, and I ask you if the triangle is obtuse, acute, or right, what you do is you take the two smaller sides, you square them, and you add them. All right. Then take the longer side and square it. All right. Now, when you do that, um. Over here, we're going to have 16 plus 49, which will give you 65. Over here, we have 144. Okay, so when the sum of the square of these two smaller sides is less than the square of the longer side, that means you have an obtuse. Okay, now if we would have had this side over here greater than this side, then it would have been acute. Okay, if they would have been equal, the two sides, then you would have a right triangle. Okay, watch that again if you need to, guys. Make sure you understand that. All right, now next quiz, quiz number 13. Let's the angles from smallest to largest. A lot of you looked at the actual size of the angles and try to figure it out from there. That's not what you should do. Look at the sides. The smallest angle comes first, and the smallest angle will be across from the smallest side. So find your smallest side, 8, go straight across, B is your smallest angle. Now find your next longest side, 10. It's across from A. A is your next uh, largest angle. And then angle C, your last angle, will be the largest angle. Okay? Number two, let's down the sides from largest to smallest. Okay? So I want the largest side first. So find the largest angle. There it is. Go straight across. And this side here will be the longest side AC. Now find the next biggest angle, 32, go straight across side AB. So side AB will be the next largest, okay? Or excuse me, the next smallest. We're going from largest to smallest. And then your last side is BC. That's your shortest side, okay? Now number three, is it possible to have a triangle with these three lengths? Well, the answer is no. Your two smallest sides, when you add them together, must always be greater than the longest side, always. So 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 is not greater than 15. So it is impossible to have a triangle with these measurements here. Okay? Alright. Um, that's all for today, ladies. Please get to work on your notes and homework. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all.